Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of All Tricks, No, no Treats. treats. Uh, like I always say, the number one rated relationship, dating, family, single, family, everyone, sex, love, not love, mm-hmm. lust. Oh, yeah. thank you. I win. <laughs> Podcast. So we got a nice little episode today. <clears throat> Do you want to start it off on what the topic is? Yes. So our topic is surviving lockdown under one roof together. Ooh. And this is not just the lockdown we're all thinking of. This is also lockdown when we're sick. We're sick with just sick. Normal uh, normal sickness. Normal sickness. Yeah. Normal you can sickness. Have a yeah. Cold. Or the flu. <laughs> or the flu. Or you know. Someone's got an ear infection. You really can't leave. Like someone broke an arm or something. Yeah, you're just <clears throat> under one roof. There's circumstances together. that you should stay instead of not stay. Yes. 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 Cool. So this lockdown is a broad lockdown. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> hit it. When you're in lockdown, you kind of miss out on some things. Like sometimes you're in lockdown, like. After I had our little baby, um, what's his? Nucky. Nucky. Mr. Nichols. Mr. Nichols, yeah. After I had Mr. Nichols. Our youngest, by the way. Yes. Um, Your birthday was like two weeks after. Yes. But I had just given birth and we we're trying to celebrate his birthday, but I'm still not even able to walk. And we're still all stuck in the house together. So it's even like that, too. Like, Mm -hmm. surviving under one roof together. uh, I mean, Champ, our oldest son, he uh, was born a month before me. And that felt like a lockdown, too. I guess I haven't had too many uh, birthday celebrations. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, but it's a joke he always makes. I do always make it. But I don't care. I'd rather just be with my kids and do anything with anybody else. <clears throat> but um, to add, we're talking about what to do just as a couple in lockdown situation and um, as a family. So we're going to be touching base on, on both. We have little lists and topics on uh, what we're going to yeah. dive into. Yeah, because also some of us are living in apartments, mm-hmm. small spaces. So you're all kind of like cramped together and, you know, they say absence makes the heart grow fonder. But how does it grow fonder when you're so right next door all the time? <laughs> yeah, true. So. So the first one is. So the first one is what we're going to talk about is when you're a couple. So we all know that personalities clash sometimes and. True. We are two different personalities. Yes. Yeah. I agree. 100%. He's fire. I'm water. You're crazy. <laughs> water. You're yeah. Crazier. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I just have this little thing that says when personalities clash. Mm, where is it? Both people need to learn how to meet each other halfway. So. Compromise. Yeah. You need to take. A giant step back and figure out how to meet each other halfway. So this quote says, for example, my partner is highly sensitive. She notices the things I miss, but I can take on the things that she may find hard to take on. So we work together as a team. Teamwork makes a dream work. Yeah. So even if you're stuck together, like, you know, it's the little things like he'll wash some bottles for me. Yes. Yeah. I think uh, <clears throat> that's a good example because you being a stay-at-home mom, you do do a lot. And sometimes I'm used to coming home from work and not doing shit pretty much. But males or guys in the relationship stepping up and doing little things like that, you take notice, right? Oh, yeah. And the, and that's yeah. it. And also that's on my part too, like... Yes, I feel like sometimes like, oh, it's stuff I do all day, every day. But when he does something like that or when your partner does something like that, you need to just, you know, take a step back and be like, wow, they really put themselves out there to do that. And you need to put yourself out there and be like, thank you. And yes, thank them. 
I appreciate your uh, yeah. thank yous. I appreciate you. <laughs> cool. Okay. I agree. Meet in the middle. Yeah. And it's not only like cleaning. It's just in everything. Yeah. Even Doing things like, they want to do. Or, or get up and make them a cup of coffee. Yeah. Going out of your way to make their day a little bit easier and happier. Yeah. Like I saw a meme and it said um, this girl said that she was on her. Um, excuse me. She was on her boyfriend's phone and that little um, reminder popped up. And I think her name was Brittany or something. It said, like, reminder, do something special for Brittany. Mm. And, but a lot of people were commenting saying, like, I thought it was cute. At first I was like, oh, my God, that's so cute. Like, That's good. That's, that's nice. Like, but then a lot of people were commenting saying, hey, if he's a guy that needs to be reminded to do something special for you, then. Dude, we're guys. I do we procrastinate? We don't know what the fuck we're doing. No, I, it's good to the people who say that are the people who say that are so stupid. I think guys' brains are wired differently than girls. And it, even it, I don't want to say worse, but the more you date or the more you're with someone, the longer you're with each other, you need to be reminded more because you get so comfortable in the relationship and growing with them and doing the same things over and over. If you're into the relationship two, three, four years, you've got them flowers a hundred times. You've went to dinner a hundred times. So setting a reminder to try to do something cute or new is anybody who disagrees with that is their expectations aren't a, it's not reality. It's you're living in some dream fairy tale land and you're single probably. Who said that? So, fuck you. (laughs) Yeah, like you don't want to be, you know, we've been together, what, nine years now? Yes. And sometimes, you know, when you're together for a very long time, relationships can get stagnant. Mm Mm-hmm. So, I think that is a good way to, you know. Sometimes you just got to drop a little money on your girl and her friend. (laughs) For you to... Do new shit. Don't do the same thing over and over. Yeah. Like flowers now and then are cute, but like switch it up and, you know, yeah. you know. And so now there's this list of <clears throat> little rituals to do to keep your sanity in lockdown. The first one is the invisibility sweatshirt. So it's a special sweatshirt. And when the other spouse sees you in it, they have to pretend you're invisible. You can't talk to them. <laughs> this is what I didn't want to tell you. I didn't want to tell him any of these ones. Because I'm going to get mad. Because I want to see his like reaction. Invisibility An sweatshirt. invisibility cloak. Like a Harry Potter. No talking to them. No looking at them. No asking a question. Pretending they're not there. Oh, it can even just says. It's a marriage version of an invisibility cloak. A creative way to build in distance without having to verbally request it. I actually don't like this either. I think this is stupid. It's weird. Like. That's. I, white people stuff. <laughs> Sorry. I don't ever want to like not acknowledge you. I feel like even. If- I mean, in in a sense, sometimes if you're in a relationship, it's good to be separate yourself and being like in another room or doing something on your own. Um, I think that's good. So I mean, describing it as an invisibility sweater, that's some weirdo shit well this it's is, just leave me the fuck alone for a second so i can be sane i think yeah, that's the way they should word it that's also even if you're like in a <clears your> room <throat> playing video games or something and i go in i could still acknowledge you this is like leave me alone like yes. don't talk to me don't look at me for reference don't talk to me when i'm playing xbox because i'm my headset on. really even though everyone in the entire place can hear you yes sorry <laughs> i think the invisibility thing is weird but yeah, you want to have space. Next. I, yeah, I think if you want space and you could be like, oh, hey, I'm going to go do this for a little bit. Like, I'll be back. Yes. Okay. So the next one is the lockdown commute. And even if you're in lockdown, you know, working from home or something, mm-hmm. you can create the same effect uh, as getting ready. So you get ready, kiss your partner goodbye. This even recommends walking around the block. Mm. <laughs> walking around the block, coming home. And then when you get home is when you start your your work, your work I, day. I don't agree with the – well, not that I don't agree, but I think the walking around the block is kind of strange. But it's good to 
Dude, if you're like doing the same thing over and over in a lockdown, whatever situation you're in, it gets old and you're going to want to have a change in scenery or a change in your routine. So getting dressed, I was just talking to my buddy today. I'm like, dude, we need to start wearing normal clothes because I come to work in <laughs> sweats. I don't need that. Did I? Yeah. I told Eric too today. But um, it's I think it's good to change up your routine a little bit. <clears throat> so I agree with that one. Yeah, it's nice. It yes. keeps you like, <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> good one. <laughs> I'm clever. One daily free pass. To do what? I don't agree with this one. None of us are our best selves at the moment. Cut each other a little slack by issuing each partner one daily free pass. Make a free pass. One for you, one for me. Mm-hmm. Then once a day, you hand it over to your spouse when you've done something stupid, said something mean, or forgotten to do something you've promised. Why are you looking at me like that when you said that? <laughs> did I, did I, do I not do stuff? What? Do I not do stuff that I say when I do? No, you do. I um, think the only thing I don't do sometimes is when you say take out the trash and I say, yeah, I'll take it out right now. And then I go to work and I didn't take it out. Or you just lay on the couch and don't take it out. I love my couch a lot. Yeah. That's another episode. <laughs> yeah. No, but this one is, I don't like this because if you, this goes back to our, what we talked about in the last episode, communication. Mm-hmm. Um, and how I always want to communicate during a fight or when we're mad at each other or something. When you said something stupid or mean, like, no, I will not give you a free pass. I just can't let it go. Like, we have to talk about it. Like. I agree with the free pass. Yeah, of course you do. Like, no, don't just slide me a little piece of paper and be like, mm, free pass. My free pass is, like I said before, a kiss and a hug me and, okay, I'm sorry. All right, let's, all right, let's figure it out later. And then me on the back? Yeah, on the butt. <laughs> and then uh, that's it. Then I feel good about it. But how much does that work when you try to kiss me and hug me? To me, it works. To you, you say no, don't. Yeah, because don't. Give Maybe you should give pass. in and say, okay, I'm going to try it to Maybe do what should. he wants for once. And then <laughs> for it once? could work. <laughs> What's up with this mic? It's freaking making a stupid noise. I'm pissed off. Okay. Our next one is... A reconciliation walk. Reconciliation walk? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so it says, it's hard not to take the stress of the day into the evening with you, especially when there's no physical separation. Mm-hmm. So why not take a stroll with your spouse after work each day to talk through any negativity and start your family time with a clean slate? That's good. I kind of like that. Going for a walk. That's not only, to me, that's not only for couples. If you're single, it's good to take a walk and clear your head. And we're going to go over some family stuff too. But as a family, you want to go for a walk like we used to do all the time. Um, It's good getting out and seeing the kids run around and getting a breath of fresh air. But I think that one's good for sure. I feel like too, even if you have like, if you had a frustrating day, If you want to take a walk by yourself, take a walk with your kids, take a walk with your partner, Um, just even just getting a change of scenery, seeing something new that could bring up a different memory Mm -hmm. or something else that like you could talk about like, oh, hey, remember when we did this here? Oh, hey, that looks like a good place to eat. Like it'll start a new conversation. Yeah. And get your mind off. Yeah. Stressful stuff. Frustration or anything. Mm -hmm. Last one. Let's create a complaint box. Jesus Christ. What is going on here? Okay. People really do this? I don't know. What is this? McDonald's? Where you call, has the number? Complain here. Call this number. That's strange. It says, uh, everyone is more annoying in close quarters, but bombarding your spouse with minor complaints won't help anyone's nerves. Instead, find a box. Physically put all your complaints in it each day. Oof, no. <sighs> Jesus no. Christ. If you ever complain about me... In a box, and I open the box at the end of the day, and it's, like, full of papers. Yours will be (laughs) jam-packed. It says complaint box, not compliment box. Dang, you do look pretty hot today. Um, You're going to get it later. (laughs) Yeah, getting a physical box with complaints, that is so crazy. I can't believe it. Imagine what the kids would say. What would they complain about? They don't know how to write. (laughs) 
I know, but if they could write, man. We'd get never poopy. M- we'd get poopy farts. Uh-huh. We'd get pee-pee in my pants. Yeah, we'd get stupid. Yeah. Champ would say, I don't play Xbox enough. Yeah. Bubby would say, you don't give me enough snacks. Oh, yeah. Chris would, she would just, just wants say a snack all day. snacks in all capital letters. And then Nucky would say... Wah. Treat me like I'm 30 years old. Yeah. Yeah, because he tries to act like he's a grown adult. He wants to be one of the guys. Yeah, he's wild. Yeah. <clears throat> but that would be pretty funny complaints from your kids. That would be fun. That would be fun. Yeah, I see. You shot me down right when I said it. He can't write. Because he can't write. So how are they going to give us any complaints? Yeah, but it's funny. Is it funny? It is funny. It is. It Thank is you. funny. But it's logistically not Logistically... Happening. What does logistically mean? They can't write, so logistically they can't put it in a box on paper. What Logistics. do you mean? Logistics. What are you, a shipping company? <laughs> <laughs> oh, make sure to get all the logistics. Buckaroo. <laughs> don't make a complaint box. It's strange. This no, isn't don't. Starbucks. Or I feel like what, what is our theme? Talk it out. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't. Want, it has to be. Yeah, I don't want at the end of the day to open up a box of things like from what eight in the morning. Yeah. When you could have just talked to me about it. Yeah. At eight in the morning. I hate that one so much. Yeah, and Kay. that's it. That's it for uh, for couples. For couples, yes. For families, the first one is exercise. So if you're stuck in lockdown, you still got to move around. Yes. You still got to be, you know, physically active. That c- especially if you have flowing. kids. Well, three kids. Yeah. One Even kids, two kid or one kids. One kids, three kids, ten kids. Going for a walk or exercising is, yes. It's crucial because they've got a lot of energy. A lot of energy. Yeah. So I remember in lockdown, we did a lot of dance parties, mm-hmm. which were, you know, um, videos that we found online. Of yes. Songs, music. Yeah. You know, we just did a lot of dance parties, jumping up and down. It was really trendy to do like... Those TikTok and Instagram dances, and <clears throat> our kids are getting a little older, so they know how to navigate through some apps and shit. And um, they found some videos where you dance along, and you want to encourage that. You want them to move around. You don't want them to uh, just play games all day. And it's cute seeing them, and yeah. then you can record them, and then have memories forever. But uh, yeah, seeing them dance and exercise, and even our baby Nucky, he just. She goes like this one. Yeah, just when the videos are playing. <laughs> he kind of puts his hands up too. Yeah, so technology and videos aren't all that bad. You can use them for good, obviously. And I think exercise and um, also going have exercise for videos. Yeah, ex- they have exercise videos that the kids do uh, would do also. Yeah, and then going for walks even around your neighborhood. You don't have to go to crowded places or um, I don't know. Yeah. indoor spots just walk around your neighborhood and get some fresh air you know mm-hmm. the sun vitamin d yes get that d you'll get it <laughs> <laughs> so the next one is to cook together make your dinner like family style like yes work together this has been a big part we try to make this a big part of our lives even though it's to me, I'm like, I get super frustrated easily and I don't have patience. <laughs> and like, but we try to make this, make that fun for the kids, especially, well, our kids, because they love doing it. Like when Brianna's cooking dinner, they're always like, I want, can I help you? <laughs> yeah. They'll bring the step stool on their own and get mm-hmm. in the way. And I'm just like, ugh, but she's, it's, it's good. It's good to get them involved and um yeah it can be i'm and i'm gonna be 100 percent honest because that's who we are it can be frustrating at times i can definitely say there's times where i'm trying to cook and i have you know someone saying can i help i want this can i do this i want to picking up everything like dropping stuff on the floor and you're like eat cringing on the inside but at the same time you have to stop and think like the means- belt i shouldn't bring the belt out right now and let them be kids <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't do that. But I get frustrated, and I'm like, just. She tells me all the time, like when I get frustrated, it's she tells me let them be kids, and I have to really think about it and be like, shit, like 
What's the point of getting mad? Like, shit's gonna happen, gonna fall. The oh, kids are gonna hi. get dirty. You're cute. Oh, hi. And I was a kid. I mean, when I would so- drop something accidentally, my parents would whip my ass, but. Did you like it when <clears> that happened? <throat> no. Yeah, see? It's an accident. Exactly. But, yeah, it's it's good for them to be involved. And, um. Yeah, just find little things. Like, I tell them, like, oh. Here's a placemat. Go set the table. Uh oh, yep. we need napkins. Oh, where's your cup? Did you bring your juice box with you? Like little things. It doesn't have to be. Hey, fry the meat. Hey, crack the egg open. <laughs> yeah, like, it could be little little chores or little things like little toppings or yeah, yeah, setting the table. It's a good yeah. one as well. Like a pizza <clears> night <throat> too. Pizza night. I even just said we need to do a Sunday night. Yeah, little stuff where they can like <clears throat> sprinkle over, mix. Yeah, it's, you do that good when. <clears throat> Holy shit. When you make the pizza bagels, mm. the kids like putting the cheese and the olives and the mini pepperonis. Yeah. And it's fun to see them and do that stuff. It's kind of good, too, because when you work with stuff like that, like the ingredients, like our middle child, our little girl, Bubby, she is a snacker. She's not an eater. She's yeah. a snacker. She'll help make the food, but then not eat it. Or she'll take like one bite. And then after we're all done, she'll say, can I have a snack? Because she knows we have snacks and that's that's like her meals yeah which she's pretty nutty but so now yeah. i've been trying to incorporate our um ingredients our broccoli our veggies our meats and i keep it like right next to her so she, she'll be snacking on it and so i know oh, she's getting her veggies right now she doesn't eat it with dinner she's still good yeah yeah and sometimes when she doesn't eat we even save her food and when she wants a snack we say nope you got to eat your dinner you got to eat your lunch that we made because kids will get you. Yeah. They know. <clears throat> she knows. They, they all know. Yeah, they probably, they're all baby geniuses. They all know everything. They're For smarter sure. than all of us. Um, and one more thing we do at dinner is uh, the highs and lows. Yes. So what's the highs and lows? Keep I going. actually got that. That's one of the, there's a few good things I got from the way my parents grew up. Actually, there's a lot, but I mean, this one was great because, um, we would go around the table all cheesy and say a high part of our day and some and a low part, something that wasn't so so great. And obviously, as you get older, you're gonna have more things like. <clears throat> but it's good to talk about them, to acknowledge them. Even our kids, we try to tell them what didn't you like so much today, because it's good for them to know um, things that didn't they didn't really like and how to make it better or change it or or do what you have to do, but. Um, we like to say a good one good thing and one not so good thing at dinner and it's yeah it's, yeah it's fun and it's good for that like emotional clarity like to know like oh this made me so frustrated like so they know like the word for yeah. that like when they're growing up they don't know their emotions like they just know like ah i want to scream ah, i'm mad so you can help them with that like oh you were frustrated when this happened like, yeah oh you were sad when this happened what's something we could do like so it just it really works because, and like you said, like it helps that they know I was really happy when I did this. And then it's also good to acknowledge that we're not always going to have happy spots. Yeah. It's like there will be shitty days. Yeah. You're going to yeah. have hard times and it's good for them too. Cause we do it too. So it's good for them to hear that mommy and daddy have low points in their day as mm-hmm. well. Like, you know, mommy and daddy get sad too. Yeah. Mommy and daddy get mad too. It's a good lesson for them. Yeah. We to work and grow and yeah, you work through it together as a family. Yeah. Yeah. We like to have family meals too. That's something I think <clears throat> yeah. everyone should do because there's a lot of families that don't do it, especially families that are like kind of broken or the parents are together. But if you have your kids, you should do your best to try to have that family setting so they know like this is family. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be a home cooked meal. It doesn't even have yeah, to be you around can... a table. Like you could get McDonald's and sit down, turn the just turn the TV <clears> off. No like no distraction. Sit on the floor. Uh huh. Just talk and look at each other. Like, yeah, we what champ, we ask him all the time, like, How was your day? What good. Yeah, I'll just say one Pizza. word and nope, yeah. what'd you do? I try to force him to talk, but Yeah. So you just gotta, you know It's good to communicate kids. with your kids. Yeah, and that's I'm pretty sure too. Ugh. When they get older, that's how you find things out. Like, yeah, yeah. More important things. Yes, I'll never forget Champs when we had his parent-teacher conference with his teacher. I was telling her how we um, ask him questions, and he'll just be like, "Yeah, no, 
good. Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, there's different ways. Like you can ask them, oh, uh, who's your most favorite person to play with? Or, oh, if you could pick one person, who would you want to send into space? <laughs> <laughs> and that's smart, too, because we're like we were never taught that as parents. And we're getting it's good to take advice from different people. So obviously people aren't going to listen to us at all the time. It's people you least expect it. Like they're fucking his fucking teacher told yeah. us that stuff. So it's good to um, get other people's opinion as well. And yeah. take it where you can. Yeah. It. And it helps them communicate their kids. They're not, they're not, they're not going to say, well, when I started my day, I did this <laughs> and hung out with this guy. And, but it's good to make fun, I guess, like the space spaceship thing, or mm -hmm. um, yeah, what activities did you do and who who'd you do them with or whatever. Yes, that's where I try to find things out most. Is oh, who did you play with today? <clears throat> yeah, I hope all the little girls. No, sometimes he does say little girls, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what's her name? Leave him alone. <laughs> <sighs> I may not be a stud, but my boys are. I'm not just saying it because they're my kids. There's some. If my kid was funky looking, which they were when they were born, <laughs> they grew up to be little little cuties. So you better protect your daughters because they're wild. Not wild, but you know what I mean. They're gonna be wild. They're little gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Except our baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's still Mr. Nichols, he's, he's still pooping in his pants. So we got. Some he's time. a jerk. Some most of the time, ninety nine percent of the time. He's the best though. But anyway, that's all we got for um, surviving lockdown. Surviving lockdown. Those are just some cheesy, more emotional things than than not. But because hello, uh, if your emotions are not being met, you know. Yeah, and I think you have to use your emotions more when you're constantly with your family. Your kids or your boyfriend or girlfriend or husband and wife but um even if you're single you could take a lot of these things yeah have fun cooking okay. by yourself have fun listen to music yeah listen to music dance it's we like to dance by ourselves i oh, pop yes. it sometimes by myself and then brianna will like look at me I last drop second it sometimes you're wild myself. yeah on me <laughs> by myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um yeah you could take this we're friends with single people so we yeah, yeah. I, as i said we're inclusive you know yeah it's not just about the families and the it's kids it's not about families kids relationships about yourself <clears throat> yeah you at your core yeah <laughs> anyway so real quick before we leave we wanted to do a quick giveaway we're gonna start um, doing giveaways yeah so we want to get more into this we want to give away things that um can help parents couples we've actually and even stuff we've actually people. used too yeah a lot of stuff we use which one that we're gonna show now we use well, and everything we use yeah pretty much so um, um go ahead we're all about being green i'm all about being green and um we have these little can i say the company yeah they're called zip tops so they're little silicone they're a hundred percent platinum silicone you can wash them dishwash them freeze them put anything in them they're little little things. They just pop open. They're kind of like a Ziploc bag, but silicone. Yes. So you reuse them. Don't throw them away. Let's. You could just rinse them, or... wash them. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so what are we gonna do out of five? What do you mean? Like rating wise. Yeah. Sure. Of, Get out of, the box right there. Out of five. So I just think? real time, this zip tie, this uh, Ziploc. Obviously, there's other brands too you could go with, but these are really convenient. When you're giving snacks to your kids, we use this. There's bigger ones that we uh, pack uh, our oldest son's lunch with. Yeah. We put strawberry fruits and snack snacks, chips, cookies, so, whatever. These are plastic free. There's no BPA, no lead, no PVC, no phthalates. Um, We're giving away this banger. Yes, we are. So they're really like. They're kind of expensive. <laughs> yeah, they actually are. But so with, fucking with this you join four. this giveaway. Yeah. But okay, so out of this, like in the picture they have you have Cheez Its, fruit, yogurt chips, whatever. Ooh, look, this is real out. time right here. Real time on how you use it. Look. They won't rip or tear. Oh, look. and they are perfect for little hands. Look at 
Look at that. Perfect. It's kind of perfect. Can I give my kind my of? Can I give my rating? What do you? What's? What don't you like about this? I give it a three. They're hard to wash. I uh, think. Yes, I give a three point five out of five because mm -hmm. they're amazing. I love them. I just pack them up. Like even um, Bubby and Champ can pack stuff in them by themselves. Mm -hmm. But I give it a 3.5 out of 5 because if you overfill it, it pops open. On its own? On its own. So I okay. have um, snacks in the bottom of my purse. <laughs> That's good to know. But, hey, when you're dealing with kids, nothing's perfect. But these things, I've washed the bigger ones too. I can't imagine washing these because they're so small. But um, the bigger ones are even hard. I try to flip them in, inside out. or um, But I, I give it... Use them more than me, but I give it a four out of five because they're convenient. They're cool. They have a little design on it. This one has a little cat on it. They're cute. Yeah, these ones are cute because I even ask um, Bubby when we're getting snacks. I'm like, do you want the cat? Do you want the panda? Do you want the dog? Like, pick whichever a pig. one you want. There's a pig right here. Mm -hmm. That looks like me a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, they're cute. They work. Just don't overfill them. Um, yeah, we'll put the details on how to win this. Um on our social medias, on our podcasts, and yeah. Yeah. Cool. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to – you want to see how it works when kids eat out of it? Like that. <laughs> You're doing ASMR right now. Yeah. Anyway, um, like we always say, we appreciate you guys. and Yes. If you guys have topics or questions that you want to – want our opinion on or – what to go over we're more than happy to do it we're still new with this obviously so this is so then like what dm us yeah message us on instagram What's um, our thing? tricks underscore no underscore treats so i'm sure you could search all tricks no treats on instagram but um, reach out to us we'd love to talk to you and meet you. new people yeah and see how you're doing we just want to get to know people and um, what well, helps other people so we could talk about it and spread or the news help us yeah Give help us, us too we're like we said we're still learning and drinking and <laughs> all this good stuff but we'll see you guys later bye cheers beth